author of the book is P. De Villas. So when we talk about computer, it's very, very important that we start with the main concept, computer. What is computer? The introduction to computer practice and form. So when we look at the term computer practice and form, we should start with the definition, of course, in which we have learned that a definition of a computer is an, ele an electronic device which is capable of processing information to pro produce a desired result. Moving forward, we are going to elaborate computer practice more and more and understand that the use of a computer actually in our syllabi or in our state, we, we must also learn that computer, pra uh, computer receives, manipulates, it stores and it sends data. In that way, we are not only referring to the micro uh, desktop computer that we are used to. We still have the mobile computer that are known as uh, cell phones, tablets, you, you can name them and all. But without any waste of time, please, rather let's just focus on the broad application that we are here for, which is the Microsoft Wait that covers module one, like I said, and module number two. Without any waste of time, we will immediately jump into the components of computer and the peripherals. When we talk about the components of computer, we are mainly talking about the inputs, the outputs, and we are talking about the memory and the CPU of the computer. In which, starting on that, I will rather start with the peripherals. There is a difference between peripherals, good people, and hardware. Remember that now, hardware, we are talking about every touchable object that builds a computer. But then when you talk about the peripherals, we are mainly now talking about only those hardwares that are built outside the computer. Great. On that note, we will name them. Remember, the inputs devices are uh, the, 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 the devices or the hardwares that inputs information into the system, such as what? Such as keyboard, such as what? Such as mouse. We know that those are the primary hardwares that we have in a computer. Without a mouse and a keyboard, we cannot instill or we cannot capture information into the computer. Moving forward, we will move to the output device. The output device now are those hardwares that gives us feedback. We are talking about what? We are talking about the, the VG, VDU, which is the visual display unit. We are talking about what? We are talking about printers in which we have different types of printers to elaborate. We will still refer from the future manager's textbook. Remember, uh, Microsoft Office 2010. Great. On that note, while having the visual display unit, you will learn again that we have what we call a modem. A modem, it is an aspect that connects us to an internet, if we can say. So such we are living with and we need to be well aware and exposed to. Uh, because like I'm saying, it is what we live upon the, the, mo the, 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 the modern days. Uh, those were our output devices, remember? Uh, the output devices that we were talking about, visual display unit, the printer, immediately when we print information that we have captured with the keyboard, we print that and then we use what we call a printer. Moving forward, a modem, like I said, it is for internet usage. We, we, we move forward with, the, with our lesson without any waste of time. We, we will now concentrate on the memory of the computer. All right, we are talking about the memory now. Remember now, as I was saying, the brain, the brain, the memory. We are not only talking about the storage of the computer, but we are also talking about the brain, in which we learn that we have a CPU, which is uh, acronymed as an, uh, a central processing unit. It is a built into case uh, function in which by so saying we learn that a central processing unit uh, we can call it a heart or the brain of the computer that is the most important element of the computer the cpu central processing a uh, unit a built into uh, a case in reference to that you will learn that on the motherboard 
you get a microchip. That microchip, we call it a processor, a central processing unit. So that is the most important aspect of a, a computer. Moving forward to the memory, you will learn that we have two types of memories in which we have the first one, the RAM, and the second one is the ROM. The difference between the two now, the RAM changes, it is volatile. It is a temporary memory. It means now a computer, I mean a RAM cannot operate uh, when a computer is not on. But whereas now with a ROM, it is very easy for a computer because a ROM, a read-only memory, that one now retains information even when the computer is off. We are talking about the, the DVD writer, the DVD ROM, the CD ROMs, and so forth. Moving forward, so that one, as we said, it is a permanent. Remember, a RAM is a temporary, a ROM is a permanent. A RAM changes, ROM does not change. A RAM does not function when the computer is off, whereas on the other side, the ROM function even when the computer is off. Those now were our two types of memories. We move forward to the storage memory. The storage memory that we are referring to, we are talking about the hard drive, in which on the hard drives, we have two types of hard drives. We have the primary hard drive and we have the secondary hard drive. The main primary hard drive, uh, we call it the main hard drive. And the secondary hard drive, we call it the external hard drive. It means now, the main hard drive, a computer cannot function without a main hard drive. Whereas now the external hard drive, a computer can function without an external hard drive. That now, external hard drive, it is for usage of external memory. It means you can still go there, find yourself a one terabyte external memory to increase your capacity. You can still find 500 gigabytes memory, hard drive memory to, to, to increase your capacity. It depends on your needs. Great. Moving forward, the types of memories that we have, we still have uh, the USB. We still have the stiff. Commonly known uh, memories that we, we, we have again is the CD, compact disc, and the DVD. You would find that a compact disc, it is a plus minus 700 megabytes. Whereas now with the DVD, the, 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 the space now increases because it is a 4.7 gigabytes. You will learn that we started those bytes with a bit, which is a binary digit. And then moving forward, we, that we were, I mean, the, the technology then introduced a kilobyte. And then from a kilobyte, we moved on to the megabytes. From the megabytes now, uh, we have the gigabytes. And then lately, we are running with the terabytes. So those are our types of memories, binary digits and all, in which the term for that is ASCII, American Standard Code for Information Interchange. That is the term that we use to, to, to refer our binary or so and so. So without any waste of time, good people, we will be moving to the important not mainly, but the other important aspects of the computer. Because now we have been talking more about the hardware side. We are now moving to the uh, software side. The software side that we are uh, talking about is a system software and an application software, in which we have to learn that these also applies as primary and secondary, in which a computer cannot function without the other software, but computer can function uh, with or without the, the other. Let's just elaborate the two. When we talk about these two uh, softwares, we learn that we have the system software and we have the application software. From the two softwares that I have just mentioned, we must learn that the system software, it is a primary software that now we are talking about the familiar words that we, we, we are used to, such as Windows, you know, uh, people will be saying, hey, I need a Windows, a Windows, a Windows, a Windows. Yes, that Windows 7, that Windows 10, that Windows 8, that Windows 8.1, and so forth. Vista, 
last XP, you know, we used to have all these types of windows. Now, that one, it is a primary system software. A computer cannot function without a Windows or a system software. Whereas now, on the other hand, we have uh, those now that we can say they satisfy our souls. We call them the application software. Those now depends on the uh, individual preferability as to you as the person, what is it that you prefer? Do you prefer to use WhatsApp? It depends on you. Do you prefer using uh, music systems, I mean, music applications such as music, uh, Nero, such as uh, Windows Media Player and so forth? Do you, are you a graphical person? Do you use uh, Photoshops and all? College, we have all those types of uh, application system software. So, but um, coming back to the lesson, the system software, I mean the application software that we are going to focus on is Microsoft Wait because that one now, it is the main uh, application software that we are depending on in our lesson for today. So moving forward, without any waste of time, those were two types of softwares. We are going forward. Where is forward? Forward is the difference between file and folder. <laughs> so when we talk about the file and folder, normally we are used to, you know, a term that we were taught as, as administrators or business uh, people that a file, it's an act file that you insert uh, documents into. Whereas now a folder, a folder, it is a division of, you know, aspects or how you want to create, uh, you want to treat or put your things in order. So in computer, it's very, very different. We 